when you live off grid, one of the things that you have to consider is uh, where you're going to get your water supply from. And you can obviously buy it from supermarkets. But as a continual cruiser, we rely on the facilities provided by the Canal and River Trust. And we always fill up our water at the uh, water points at these services stations. And I've often wondered whether the water that I'm actually being supplied is actually of a good quality. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of the water quality in the Milton Keynes area. Good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Gary and I live on a 36 foot narrow boat called Lest We Forget. If you're returning, then thank you and welcome. Today being Thursday the 10th of April 2025, uh, I'm in the Milton Keynes area at Fenish Stratford and I was contacted by a company called Toily, I do believe, I hope I've got that right, and asked me if I would do a review of a six-in-one water tester. Now, one of the things that I will do is I will only do reviews for companies that I feel are actually relevant to off-grid living and uh, relevant to narrow boating. So I felt that this product, which is uh, a water sample tester, uh, would be good uh, for narrow boating and particularly off-grid living because it does actually test the water quality of the area that you're in at the time and the supply you're given. So what is it? It comes in this little white box and inside there is an instruction leaflet and this here is the water tester itself. Now the instructions say that the water quality tester is mainly used for testing drinking water such as tap water, purified water and ground water. It has an intelligent scoring function which can display four grades of water quality from excellent, good, average and poor. So this is it, quite a, a small little thing. What do you actually do with it? Well, it's designed to go into a sample of water. So I brought my narrowboat living for seniors mug out with me. And you uh, put the tester, after taking the bottom off it, into the water sample. It's got a minimum and a maximum level in there. I don't know if you can see that minimum and maximum level. So you put, put it into the water somewhere in between. And there's an on off button at the bottom here. You give it a quick press and then put it into the water. And then you press the M button for measure and it measures the quality. Now I haven't got any water in the cup at the moment. And it's actually saying, please put in water and test. So, that's how you use it. Uh, quite a simple thing. Uh, it's very portable and uh, fits in a pocket rather easily. So, like I say, I feel it's um, going to be good for uh, off-grid living and giving me the ability to test the water in the areas I'm going through. So, let's do some sampling of water and see what results we get. To calibrate it, the manufacturer recommends that you use pure water. Now, I wasn't actually sure what pure water meant because I had a look on Google and the term pure water in the UK isn't something that we commonly use. So I contacted them and they said basically pure water was any kind of water that didn't contain any minerals or chemicals. So again, I had a look on uh, Google and basically he said that pure water in the UK was something like deionized water. Um, so I went over to Tesco's and found deionized water uh, in this uh, 2.5 litre tub, which cost me something like £2.99. So let's have a look um, at calibrating uh, the machine before we do any water testing. So put some of this in this cup. Now it says to calibrate it, what you do is you press the on off button, put it in the water, press the memory button, long press until calibration comes up, press the on off button to select yes, press the memory button, 
and it's come up and said that calibration is successful. So I don't know if you can see that. It's come up on the blue screen and said calibration was successful. So let's actually measure this water then, which is deionized water. And it's actually come up there as 100% excellent. You can see that, hopefully it focuses. So this deionized water is classed as excellent. So let's get rid of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to test the water which is in my water tank. I filled it up about three or four days ago. So let's test to see how good the water actually in my tank is. Now I don't actually use the water from the tank uh, to drink directly. I only use it for showering. And um, if I am going to use the water out of the tank, I do actually boil it first. So I only make tea and coffee out of it. I don't actually drink the cold water direct out of there. So let's run it for a, a second and get a sample. Right, let's turn it on. Put it in and Press the measure button. Wow, that's not very good. It's come up saying that the water in my tank is only average. Hopefully that's focused, 74% average. And it's saying that the COD is 2.7, the TOC is 3.7, and the TDS is 342, COD being chemical oxygen demand, TOC being total organic carbon, and TDS being total dissolved solids. So it's indicating that the water that's in my stored in my tank is uh, only average. So you get poor, average, good, and excellent. So uh, it's not very good. So let's reset that. Now what I do is if I'm actually going to use um, water to drink, is I do actually put it through this filtered water container for Aqua 4, which I got from Amazon, and it contains a chemical um, element in there, and the water runs through it. Now this uh, container I actually changed about four days ago, and it normally lasts a month. So let's test. So you'd hope that the water that's coming out of my tank and goes through here would be better than the 74% that comes direct out of the tank. So let's test it. That's turned it on a little bit too much. There is a, there is a minimum and a maximum line on here that you have to actually um, put the water between. So that's now between the minimum and maximum. Let's measure. Wow, I don't believe that. That's actually coming back saying that even after being filtered, the water quality is only 73%, which isn't good. The COD and TOC are almost the same, but the TDS is now 411. So that's saying that's really poor. So I'm, I'm astonished by that. I'm just going to calibrate it again, just to make sure that I haven't done something wrong. So let's use the ionized water. Turn it off. Right, a long, quick press, turn it on. Put it in the water. Long press the M button to calibrate. Calibration successful. So let's measure that ionized water again. And yet, it isn't the machine. There's nothing wrong with the machine. Again, it's saying 100% excellent. So that has surprised me. The water in my tank was 74% average, and the water coming out of the filtered water was actually 1% lower. So that is really strange. 
So it's actually putting it through the filter is actually making it worse. And I have actually been drinking that. So yeah, so that's uh, something I'm uh, going to stop doing. Right, I've actually got with me some water. So when I go cruising, as you know, I do take these water containers with me. Now this water has been in this container for a week and I normally fill up uh, the tank outside, get that full and then after about a week I end up topping it up with these containers. So I filled this one up uh, about a week ago, a week and a half ago. So let's put some water in the in the cup of these uh, containers, which I normally carry five with me. So let's, uh, so this water came uh, from one of the filling up points locally. Let's see what reading we get from water that's been stored in a container. So let's turn it off. Goodbye. Right, turn it back on, quick press. Let's uh, put him in. Make sure it's between the minimum and maximum line. Ready to measure, short press. So that water that's been in the container for uh, over a week, week and a half, I think it is, has come back again as 74% average, which isn't very good, is it? So uh, the water point that I filled up from before, uh, which was direct off the uh, filling point from the canal, uh, is not very good. So I'm going to go outside and fill it and uh, take some water from the filling up point and see what that comes back as. Because I don't know whether it's actually the water coming from the tap that's already poor or whether it's the water from the uh, going into my tank, um, picking up all these chemicals and minerals and then coming through my tap, uh, which is giving us the average reading. So let's go outside and get some water direct from the tap and see what we get. These are the boaters facilities at Fenny Stratford Lock and this is the main filling up point. So let's take a sample of water from the mains and see what happens. But this is actually connected via the mains to the ones uh, on the, the landings. So you'd expect this to be exactly the same, but we'll see. So once again, let's just run a little bit of water off it. Take a sample. Should we get enough? And let's put the tester into it and see what we get. Turn it on. A little bit too much. Let's measure it. Yeah, so it's exactly the same. So the water supply in this area is coming back. That's the main water supply um, to all the boaters that pass through Fenny Stratford is only coming back as 76% average. So that is, uh, I'm not sure who the water company is. I think it might be Thames Valley or Three Valleys Water or whatever. Their water supply in this area is absolutely diabolical, 76%. So I am amazed. I just popped by to my neighbor and asked them for a sample of their cold water and they do drink their cold water. They say they've been drinking it for about the last four years and have not had any problems, but their cold water comes off the same supply as mine and of the same supply as the main supply uh, up at the Fenny Stratford Lock. So let's give their water. They say that their water tank is made of stainless steel. So let's see if that makes any difference. Let's measure that. Yeah, it's coming back exactly the same, 75%. So the water out of there is, even though they've got a stainless steel tank, I don't know if that's coming up and you can see it, but it's saying 75%. All the boats in this area then would appear to be being supplied with uh, only average water by the main water company. I did do a test of this uh, over um, at my daughter's the other day, and uh, that's over in Aylesbury, and we got a, an excellent reading of 93% on their water supply. So uh, there's uh, definitely a, a big difference between here. And 75% average, uh, poor score is zero to 60, average score is 60 to 80. So average score of 72, 73% is right in the middle. Um, so not very good at all. So uh, there is a natural spring uh, over at a park near here. So I'm gonna take a drive up there now 
and go and see uh, what reading we get for a natural spring water in the area. This is Pine Spring in Great Linford, which is North Milton Keynes. And this water uh, apparently is spring water. It comes up through bedrock, um, goes into the ponds and lakes behind me, and then goes into the Great River Ooze. So with it being spring water, you would expect it to be uh, quite pure. So let's take a sample and see what we get. So that is coming back again, the uh, same as what we get at the boat, uh, an average score of 77%. So although it's supposed to be natural spring water, it's not something that I would necessarily want to take. Natural spring water. Mm. Finally, and just out of curiosity, I thought I'd test the water in the canal. You sometimes see boats with a uh, I think they're called a five osmosis uh, water filter system, but it's not something that I would want to try because uh, sometimes you get a lot of diesel on the top of the water. But let's uh, see what the quality of the uh, canal water is around here. And then turn it on, put it in, and measure it. And just to prove that uh, this thing is working, it's actually coming up and saying that the, and if you can see that, it's got 30% pour on it. I wouldn't go around drinking the water out the canal if I was you. Well, there you have it. The Cactoily 6-in-1 water tester has shown that the water quality in the Milton Keynes area is only average and that what is supposed to be spring water in North Milton Keynes is coming back with the same sort of score. The only decent score that I've got uh, from this tester is uh, from water in the Aylesbury area. Uh, my daughter's where we got 93%, I do believe it was. So overall, I think this is a handy bit of kit to have, um, particularly if you are living off grid and uh, you are getting water from all different sources. Um, I think it'd be very good if you go abroad quite a lot as well, um, save you getting Spanish jippy tunny and those sort of things. So yeah, highly recommend it. Um, I will put a link in the uh, description below uh, if you're interested in getting one. So uh, follow the link in the description. Uh, I hope you found this video useful. I've certainly learned something and uh, I hope that you're all well. Take care. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.